Hack Magic. Hello and welcome to A Little Bit of Lip with me. I am Phyllis Boundless and again I do the open fingered thing. I should just do this, but anyway. Most of the action is coming today from very special, magical guest. Truly magical. No illusions here. His name is Mr. Jack Daniels. That is correct. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on the show. I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to it. I'm so excited I'm going to do this. Uh -huh. and, and I've worn special sleeves. I love it. But is there anything like, in there? there? There's nothing in there, but <laughs> we might produce something from there later on. That's, because uh, we can hide some. Yeah. Because you never know. We never know with magic. No. But is it magic or is it illusion? Mm. Depends on how you look at it. Okay. So most, let's look most at of, it. Well, most of what I do is illusions. Mm -hmm. uh, where we're kind of, uh, kind of guiding you through a maze losing you along the way and then trying to get you to figure a way out. Are you messing with my head at the same Pretty time? Pretty much, yeah. yes. It's, there's a lot of psychology and... Uh, Gentle manipulation. Ways. Yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a good way to say it. Gentle okay. manipulation, I like right. that. Gentle manipulation. Mm -hmm. You can put that on your business card. That's <laughs> okay, well, gently manipulate. Yeah, ge <laughs> <laughs> that's a different show. Yeah, that's a whole <laughs> different show. And your word today is... Leisure de main. Leisure de main. Leisure de main. Leisure de main. Oh, oh, it's French. Leisure I de love main. that. And you yeah. say it with a French accent or just leisure de main? Leisure, leisure de main. Oh, in Australia, leisure de main. <laughs> you know, it's got to put that in. But no, it's, it's leisure de main. Leisure right. De main. And when were we, talking, we were talking about the L word and about yes. levitating, because that's yep. the obvious L word. Correct. And I was told that apparently if you wanted or if I chose to be, uh, to have myself levitated, mm -hmm. is that even a word? That is a word, yeah, Okay. Levitated. So uh, you need a heavy apparatus. And really, I don't need much to be to leave the ground. Well, the heavy apparatus is basically a big tank of helium gas. Are we going to give away tricks? <laughs> no, no, just no. no, 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 no. Yeah, no, we, do, we do require uh, some... Uh, Assistance. Assistance, assistance behind the scenes. There we go. Some some magical kind of elves and pixies. Yes, that's right. And and stardust. Uh, and lo lo lots of stardust. Lots of stardust. Lots of, stardust, lots of glitter. Lots of glitter. No, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Like levitations. Um, we've done a very few different types of levitations. You know, you got we, we can levitate certain objects, or we can levitate. Uh, in our show, we levitate one of my dancers. Um, I'm only light. Could you levitate me? Oh, or we can. L, could we levitate Lel? Yeah. This would be perfect, I reckon. I think we can maybe try to do something with this. We've got to. We'll have to. Yeah, we've got enough clearance. Yeah, I think it'll be possible. But maybe not today. Not today, no. We'll, we'll do other things occasion. because we're warming yep. up. That's correct. Okay. We, we, we've got a lot of other, yep. other stuff that I can show you today. Correct. What is it about magic that attracted you? Because you, you, you do have a bit of a mysterious but approachable air about you, which I like. Well, thank you. And, and you know, the brown-eyed kind of <laughs> ethnic, <laughs> ethnic nose and the <laughs> ethnic features, which I'm really connecting to since I've got my, I mean, mine, mine are more groomed than yours. What's, yeah. what's, what's up with your brows? Well, I need to get them shaped. Yeah. It's, it's going a bit out of control. No illusion there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, well, I, look, I got interested in magic um, when I was 14, mm -hmm. uh, from a very young age. But the funny thing about mine, my experience, my journey through magic was um, once I got started into it, little did I realize my great-grandfather, going back two generations, was a traveling magician. Really? Back in the day. But for some reason, my parents kept this away from me. Because I thought we don't want him following in those footsteps. Yeah, and I think it's the whole typical parental thing where, you know, yeah. we could, you know be a doctor. doctor or, magician. Yeah, way out the options, right? You know, the lawyer, you know. Um, you know, you want to make sure you want to eat, yeah, right, um, and all that stuff. But um, so they they kept that aside. Uh, so about a year year went on, and I was really into it. I went to the library. I used to spend hours in the library after school reading because there was no internet back then. It was all it was all books. So um, I used to spend hours in the library just researching and learning a lot about about the magic and how you know, sleight of hand, right, uh, with leisure of the mean, how all that stuff worked. So, um, but what happened was we did a show when I was fourteen, my very first performance out of town show. And people started to notice, like, it was a community-based show. And I was a very young, a very shy kid. I, I could rarely stay in front of a full room, room of people and talk. Uh, so after the show, all these people started to notice us. And like, wow, this, where, where did this talent come from? This is, this is amazing. You, um, how did a kid who's so shy be standing up in front of people doing, you know, doing what you're doing? So it was only then that I think my parents realized that, you know what, maybe... He's Maybe got he's that genes. It's it's in the family. Let's just tell him. So what the, the story goes is basically, when my great grandfather passed away, his steamer trunk. Back in the days, they used to travel with a so steamer he, trunk. So he actually had one of those steamer trunks yes, with the little nuts and bolts. Yep. But all this was 
concealed from me. Um, I did by sleight of hand. By sleight of hand. Yeah. Very, very good family magic there. Um, so all this was <laughs> ethnic, hidden. Ethnic magic <laughs> is go, right? the most powerful. That it is, that yeah. it is. But, uh, and then, um, so once, you know, once my family finally revealed that, you know, hey, we had a magician in the family, it was his great-grandfather, and by, you know, here's a trunk, believe it or not, this is his traveling trunk. This thing was falling apart, and it was full of his magic tricks. So old cars, um, old, you know, pieces of rope and sponge balls, all the stuff that he would have done back then. Um, little shell games, like the free card Monty that they play illegally out in the street sometimes. <laughs> all that stuff was in this trunk, and by chance, I was restoring the trunk because it was falling apart and inside the trunk, in the lining, there was a hidden compartment. Inside his lining, believe it or not, there was a journal that dated back to an 18th century magician. Um, yeah, I know, right? Um, and basically, it was like one of those moments where like, where I hold the magician's life novel, so to speak, in my hands. Um, How spectacular. I mean, yeah, it, just, it was. It, it, it was just amazing. Like it was an amazing... It was, it was one of those moments where... It's a magical moment. Big time. Jack, yeah, I mean, let's time. just like, you know what? spell I it out. I am right here. I'm in the right zone. This is where I need to be. Um, it was one of those moments. So the, um, life is kind of giving you all these little small signs. small signs. And to discover that journal and, you know, this, this magician, uh, his name was the Great Lafayette. Uh, he was the it's highest. an L word. It's, oh, yes, it is. It's a How sign. Awesome. Lafayette. <laughs> the Great Lafayette. The That's Great the Lafayette. There you go, yeah. Oh, my goodness. He was the highest paid magician um, of, of his time back in the day during the Harry Houdini eras. Really? Um, he was actually bigger than Harry Houdini. So to own this guy. So this journal, was where? This was. 18th so century. Um, in, you're looking at 18th, 19th century. Um, he was a German magician. Lafayette was a German magician. Okay. But he was, again, traveling the world, um, New York. Um, you know, London, I think that was the Egyptian Hall in London. A lot of magicians used to go to the Egyptian Hall back in the day. So it, it, was, it was during the time of when magic was getting uh, into like, the whole science and right. electricity was getting discovered. Right, magicians, around Tesla's time. And, yeah, that's yeah. correct. Mm. So magicians were getting fascinated with this whole different style of um, you know, turning on a light. Well, that was magic. So to own this piece of um, history, it's just... This is magic. Um, yeah, yeah, it's like a Harry Potter experience almost. Only real. <laughs> Only real, that's right, yeah. that's right. Was there anything in those pages that was particularly revelationary for you um, as an artist? Not, not so much. The, the concept, the way of thinking back then was different. Uh, obviously, because you know, back then we didn't have all this technology. So nowadays, especially with illusion work, mm. you've got, when we're doing theatre shows, you've got the lighting and you've got the sceneries and there's so much you can do right. to evolve the illusion. Back mm. then, you didn't have a lot of that stuff. They, they, were, they were doing shows in front of like little... Um, kerosene gas lights or whatever yeah. they used to call them at the stage. How do you keep the magic alive in a world where, and I found I sounded like one of those, in a world in a where, world, yeah. Voice yeah, over in a world that we're doing, future near, near you, we're going to create magic <laughs> in the 21st century and still impress you. So how, how, do, do, you, how do you do that? Yeah. Stuff, um, or how, how do you actually keep it larger than life? Because essentially illusion is that. Correct. Well, I, I try and bring it back to the basics. Um, in a world now where, again, everything is just so high speed, mm. everything's fast, um, you know, you can get information within seconds on, the top, you know, on your fingertips. So trying to keep it fresh, but also trying to get people to forget, for even for a moment, the technology. Um, you know, just forget about your daily troubles and your worries. Put your phone aside and um, just take you on a, on a journey to kind of almost, in your mind, get you to think like a child again take you to that childlike wonder. I want to take you on a, on a journey that you probably would have forgotten about because you haven't been there ever since you were a kid. The, the current world. Forget, forget the noise. Yeah, forget the noise. Just shut everything out. Forget your daily problems. Forget your whatever you may have and just, just escape with me. Well, I, that is the craziest thing. Literally, while you were saying, those words left your mouth and they're in my head. No, is that right? Oh, so yep. there's, there's something, something going on here. Um, okay, so I'm ready to escape with you. Sounds good. Where Let's do you want to do go? Um, Jamaica anyway. sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with something simple. Okay. Let's start with something simple. All right. This is one of the effects that I had in my um, grandfather's trunk. And there's nothing in my sleeve. There's nothing in your sleeve. No, That's very true. Really. But they are big sleeve. enough to hold anything oh, you want. You so. Bet. Yeah. <laughs> Have a look at that for me. <laughs> Classic red balls. Classic red balls. <laughs> Two squish it matches the sofa that they all. We're all, all right. about colour coordination <laughs> here at the, on the show. Okay. So there's two, two sponge balls, yeah, right? Yeah, they're two, okay. yes. 
Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Okay. Are you, I don't know if the camera can see this. We got, we got all cameras all right, everywhere. Perfect. Okay. Um, are you right handed or left handed? I'm right handed. Open up your right hand for me. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask you to hold on to it. Okay. So squeeze it in your hand. Really so, hard? Really hard, yep. Men all over the country. Yeah, no, it's already red anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> so you've got one in your hand, and I'm going to place one in my hand. Yeah. Watch this. Now, you can still feel it, it's in your hand. It hasn't yeah, yeah. disappeared, right? No, no. If I do this. Turn your hand over and open it up very but slowly. But no way. I mean, I'm looking at your hand. Have a look at it. At my hand? Check it. <laughs> no way. No, you've got two, two in your hand. See? Seriously? Let's do it. We'll do it one more time. That, 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 a bit of a warm-up. We'll use three balls now. We'll make it a bit difficult. Okay. okay. Three balls. All right. So once again, check them out. Make sure there's only three balls there. Okay. Three balls. Okay. So open up your hand like this. Keep them in your hand. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. It's a visualization. Test. Sure. I'm going to go very slowly. So number one goes in my hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number two goes in my hand, and number three goes in my pocket. Yeah. So very simple. Mm -hmm. How many did I place in my hand? Two. Two. And there's nothing on my sleeve, so no. there's no. But watch. I do this. It's begun. So Voila. and that's, and, and, that, and, that's and there's cool. nothing in your hand. There's no fake fingers. There's nothing up my <laughs> sleeves. And that is what we call leisure domain. Leisure domain. There you go. There's really nothing up my sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> so what's 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 that's foreplay it. like with you? <laughs> oh, uh, that's a whole different story there. That's a whole that's, other kind of magic, that's right a, there. Yeah, chains and handcuffs Chain, and, uh, and all sorts of chandeliers. Chandeliers, it's um, off the hook. Floating, yeah. floating. Camera. Sorry, that that was just a really forward thing. <laughs> was that captured anywhere, Lizzie? Yes. Oh yes, yes, of course it was. <laughs> when you go to see a movie, yep. you are getting lost in the movie for mm -hmm. the hour mm -hmm. or whatever it may be. You actually you feel sorry for the characters, you laugh with them, you cry with them. You're invested. Yeah, yes. you're literally in there. So we basically this is the thing with magic as well, especially when it's, when it's a live performance. We want to achieve that same effect as what a movie delivers in a live theatrical experience. Um, and when you see magic up close and personal, it's it's a different vibe altogether totally. than just sitting down in the you know, lounge and seeing it on the TV. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have seen magic, but very few people can actually say that. I, no, I actually physically, I held this thing in my hand. Yes. And it was gone. Well, that's how I felt right now. Yeah. I mean, it really was like a magical connection because the yeah. reality is, I've seen Red Bulls. Yeah. Mostly yep. on TV. Yeah. Um, but to what, see a live in front of your eyes. But to different. see it there, and I was watching your hands, and at one point I thought I saw your hand bulge, but it's not <laughs> under your skin. That's just a bone. So. <laughs> that is, that's a secret pocket right there. Yeah, that's a secret that's pocket a, right there. Very convincing. Yeah. Okay. Let that's me show you this. This is, right. this is a this is a pretty good one. Okay. Um, this is a very odd one actually. Uh, yes. It's a little black wire. Because yep. so You can actually examine that. Mm -hmm. And um, now I don't do a lot of card tricks, but I have bought some for you today. It's a black wire. Okay. It's a little black wire. Yep. And uh, we've got a deck of cards. As mm -hmm. a matter of fact, I'll show the camera. Yep. Maybe we'll use uh, that camera right there. All the cards are different. All each and every card is a different card. And uh, you can verify that as well, actually. They're all different. Yes, they're all okay. different. Mm -hmm. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to riffle through the packet like this. And I want you to say stop. Okay. Anytime you say stop, we're going to use that card. Okay. Okay? Yep. So whenever you're ready, mm -hmm. you just say stop. So that before I finish, oh, yeah. it, doesn't, it doesn't work otherwise. <laughs> okay. It doesn't work otherwise. No, I was just so entranced by it all. Okay. But it's going to be a long show. Yeah, um, we're going to be here forever. All right, here we go. Here right. Right. Say something. Never hear it. Anytime. And stop. It. Are you happy with that choice? Yes, I'm happy you with are? that choice. Okay. Take out the card. Make sure I don't see it. Okay. Take it out. Show it to the cameras. I will uh, look away. And make to which, which camera? Any camera? My camera. Thank you, sir. And uh, let me know when I can turn back. You can, can turn, turn back, back. Yes. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. Now, see, most magicians. In order for them, to, or in order for us to find your card, mm. I've got to somehow hold that in my hand. Mm. It could be a secret marking on the back of it that tells ah, us what it is. I see. Or, you know, if I ask you to place it back inside the deck, we mm -hmm. do a few false shuffles and all uh, that stuff, and I can locate it. Abracadabras. Yeah, so that. that's why we're not allowed in the casinos. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Are there photos of you outside yeah, well, the, the Grand way, MGM? The only way I can enter a casino is I walk in backwards, they think I'm leaving. Um, <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, but see, I'm going to try and find your card in a very unusual way, using okay. a bit of fire. Oh. A bit of fire and a bit of imagination. Okay. Now, as an, I'll do it here so the camera can get a tight okay. shot of this if they need to, so check it out. All I want you to do is to think of the card that you chose. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Very straightforward. Check it out. You'll see the wire actually start to move. And that looks like an eight. 
Now we need to find out what the rest of it is. So check this out. There's the eight of hearts. <laughs> is that what you got? No way. I want to cry, but I don't know why I want to cry. And voila. Oh my eight of hearts. God. And that says magic. <laughs> but that's not illusion. That is magic to that me is, is. in my innocence. Well, yeah. It's, it's, wow. Yeah, it gets your mind thinking. Yeah, I'm like, my mascara's running. <laughs> it's like, it's all on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, yeah wow. Right. I'm enjoying this. Because <sighs> you know what? I don't want you, I mean, even if I could somehow work out a way yep. to discover what it was that you just did there and what I just experienced, I don't want to know. No, look, honestly, that's, that's funny as well. A lot of people, um, they want to know how it's done, especially when, with illusions. Um, is that because of fear? Yeah. Or is that no, it's the think, unknown? No, it is. Be it's something that because they, they can't explain it. They don't know. And we want to explain the shit out of everything. <laughs> yeah, well, but yeah, basically. <laughs> like, I mean, a lot of times um, people don't realize how easy it is for them to be fooled. I mean, th we don't use the term fool because I okay. think that, that can take it the wrong way. Yeah. Um, but for them to, to feel like, oh, hang on. Surely I'm smarter than that. There's no way I feel for that. To get them to kind of think like that. And they're the people who tend to want to know how everything is happening. They want to have full control. Okay. Magic breaks that. So that is beautiful. It depends, I think, on the person that you're doing the magic for. Yes. Because you're doing it for me. Mm -hmm. And I am a big believer of things that we can't explain. Even though oh, sometimes yeah. yep. I want to explain everything because yep. I've got to know. Yep. Um, but for the most part, it's like you, you've... I believe in the magic and the wonder of the universe and signs that are provided for us out yep. of nowhere. And yep. you can't explain stuff sometimes. No, and it's, there's no such thing as coincidence. No, and no, I was about to say that. No such thing as coincidence. Oh <laughs> we now, are I, now I'm doing it to you now. <laughs> um, so, so, you know, I, I don't want to know. Yeah. Because maybe it is magic. Yeah. And I well, want to go to sleep tonight believing that. You want to leave that wonder. That's, I um, do. That's the thing. If you, and honestly, if you, if you know it, like say a lot of my crew... We've got secrecy agreements that they've got to sign when we're doing the big shows yeah. and when we're having a new dancer on board or a new team member on board. Um, they've got to wave, you know, sign a waiver and stuff not to reveal anything because if they do, we kill them. Um, <laughs> sure, it's easy. But, <laughs> yeah, we need to jump in the box and see you later. Oh, like um, but see, the downside is even for them, um, the moment they join my team, they've lost that sense of wonder. From a general public point of view, when you find out how it's done, you've lost that. Innocence. Yeah, and, and honestly, you don't really want to know because even even if I tell you how it's done, yeah, the logic behind it, your mind will probably not even believe that I'm actually telling you the main method. The way I see it is, the more intelligent you are, the easier it is for you to be um, fool. <laughs> so, so if if you're amazed, maybe amazed is the right word. So if you get amazed, yes. that means you're intelligent. <laughs> That's my way to look at it. Because um, cause as an adult, <laughs> you know, you're using mathematics, you're using science, you're using, you know, possible different ways to, to think. A child doesn't know that. A so child you, so, is, goes basic. So you've had children spring you? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's why I don't do kids shows anymore. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. yeah I, when, when I, when I um, started back into the game, uh, um, yeah, I, I did a few kids shows. Um, I'm like, uh, yeah, not really my thing. Yeah, not like, thing. Um, but you know what? Maybe that's, that's your magic because... Your, your purpose, from my understanding and from the connection here mm. today, is that, is that um, you need to reignite that innocence. Yeah. And that we just keep losing at such a correct. rapid rate. Yeah, that's, and so that's exactly the role of a magician. Children don't need that. Yeah. Children, hopefully, has still have their innocence yeah. you know, intact in spite yeah. of technology and the yeah. blah, blah, swiping. Yeah. Innocence, the they've got their imagination. Um, as adult, adults, you, you've lost that childlike wonder. And, and that's purely the role of a magician, is to bring that childlike wonder back into an adult's mind and get them to think differently. As you live your life, yep. you're walking through the world, the people you meet, the, the experiences that you have, mm -hmm. does the universe still uh, fill you with wonder? Things that you feel? Um, yeah, I can't really answer that, funny enough. I'm still, I'm still like, mystified by you know, stuff around and... Well, that's the answer right there. Yeah. You're not, you're not, you're not jaded because you do know oh, what happens behind no. the scenes. No, totally. So there is magic in your life already because you've connected with an amazing artist like David Copperfield. Yeah. That to me would be an example of 
you put yourself in the path of magic or in the path of chance or opportunity or yep. divine intervention, call it whatever you yep. want. Um, well, even, even with that, uh, as a kid, once I started going heavily into magic and when, when I saw David Copperfield's show, what was really fascinating about me is I'd never saw it as David Copperfield performing. I saw myself doing that. Really? So um, that's where it's the typical situation with my stance is the... Uh, it was just meant to be. It just you got to. I just let the world, the universe, if you want to you know, look at it from that point of view, just just give into it, and then it knows the time, it knows the right path, your own knows the right moment. Um, if you are on the right track and you're focused and you're passionate and you're dedicated to achieving that end goal, the universe will work around that to make that happen for you. That's that's the way I look at it. That's what so, I'm talking about. Yeah. That's the magic that I'm referring well, to. There you go. I didn't have the support right. as as a kid growing up. Um, but deep down, I still knew exactly where I need to be and what my level that I want to achieve is. And um, I guess, I don't know, would you call it, I manifested to work or to, you know, be such good friends with David Copperfield now and a childhood hero of mine that I started watching from day one Yeah. Um, to be his Australian representative now for Project Magic. Um, it's like, wow, what a, what a massive honour that is. And it's just, you know, living proof, I guess, is that if it's meant to be, it will happen. Um, it's all meant to be. You know, so you just gotta, it's just gotta let it, let life take its course, and uh, things will happen by magic. So let's talk about Project Magic. Yes. So I was watching some of the stuff that you do with, um, you know, disabled yep, with children, children and yeah. people, and and it blows me away, um, primarily because you're clearly using a gift that you have mm -hmm. to impact people's lives. Uh, basically, it's, it's essentially it's a program that uses magic as a form of therapy. Right. Um, so, you know, like I said, people with disabilities, uh, spinal cord injuries, mm. uh, arthritis, um, you know, cognitive skills and all that stuff. So instead of giving the patient the standard traditional therapy process mm. to get them from point A to B, uh, we basically use the same skills as what we magicians use to fool and amaze people. Those same principles are applied to the patient's therapy process. <coughs> and, oops. and basically what it does is... It kind of um, gives a person a skill that an able-bodied person doesn't have. So, but at the same time, it's conditioning them to get closer to their own therapeutic goals. And That's from a self-esteem booster, wow. um, it's amazing. It's an incredible program. We've been running it here for about almost six years now. Really? About just over six years, actually. Yeah. Nepean Hospital. Um, they've been running it for a while. We've got a great team there of uh, therapists and doctors who've been doing it on a fortnightly basis. Mm. Yeah, and look, and from a magician's point of view, your job is to create wonder and all this stuff and hope. What better way to, to use magic and to help someone to regain their self-esteem or help them, you know, feed themselves or do their own shoelace or all that stuff. So when you, when you see the change that clearly is obvious in people, yep. how yep. does that make you feel? It, it's an amazing feeling. It's it's um, it's a it's a for me it's better than uh, doing a show for a sellout audience, because it's that one-on-one -on -one connection that you've you've guided, you've helped this person for the last god knows how many months, and to see the result that they benefited from it, it's a very powerful moment. Like to me, that's real magic. Um, that's what I would call real magic. That's just beautiful. I can't yeah. sum that up better <laughs> myself. So you're transforming people's lives. Yep, that's yeah, basically. Left, right, and centre in ways that not even you can always understand. How how would you hope that people who are uh, captured by by the magic that you perform mm -hmm. and by the wonder that they feel, how would you hope these people and myself included takes this sense of wonder and this reignition of innocence into their own lives? Change their way of thinking. Um, yeah, the life is just amazing. Like we're, we're blessed to be here. Every day should be shouldn't be taken for granted um, and, and that, that unfortunately that's that's the way life is now it's it, which is sad because everyone's so busy with their everyday life work and, doing um, what well you know, it, this is the nothing thing. really important no. that's the, I mean sure you got business to run sure. you got family you got sure. bills all that stuff yeah. but uh, that's that's where the focus is going to so and we're not allowing the moments of magic to materialize no that's correct that's or even if it does you're not really um, accepting that and yeah, you're not seeing it properly. You're not really seeing with your eyes. Your, your eyes are seeing the stuff that your mind is getting conditioned to see, but you're missing out on so much other stuff that's happening around you. 
Um, and that's where, that's where the real magic is. Now we're going to do some special hashtag L is for levitation. L is for levitation, that is correct. Right. So I've got this um, table for you. So this is, yes. this is really, uh, really awesome. So here's what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to light the candle. Okay. Create, create a bit of romance. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. Perfect backdrop. Oh, absolutely. Lips, we've got, we've candles. Lips, candles. It's all on. We've got the vino somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. All right. And we've got the sleeves. Can we not forget <laughs> we, the sleeves? We've we, we got, we got the star sleeves. We've got the so sleeves. And hopefully they're not flammable sleeves. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. that's a, no, yeah. No, no. Very simple. Here's what okay. I want you to do. All right. Here's what I want you to do. Hmm. Um, I'm going to ask you to hold on to the tassels. Okay. Just very gently like this. Yeah. Okay, two fingers like that. Yep. Now, Side what's on. important? Yeah, perfect. Okay. If right. you feel anything, <laughs> just, just go with it. <laughs> All right, just go with it. Um, That's such a leading comment. If I feel well, anything, you know, holding tassels. Okay. Uh, and what we're going to do is, yes. all I'm going to do is I want you to concentrate on the flame okay. of the candle. Okay. Are you holding tassels too? Yeah, I'm holding tablecloth. Yep, tablecloth, tassels, wherever you like. Okay. And I would just hit concentrate, concentrate mm -hmm. on the flame. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see if this is going to work. Hmm. See it moving? Yeah. <laughs> I keep looking at the flame. Can you can you feel the table I tables can, floating there? I, I can. I it's can, levitating. Yeah, that's bizarre. Now, seriously. <laughs> oh, is that a fact? <laughs> that was attractive. L lift up the cloth a bit. Lift have a look. Up, have a look. Away. That's that's levitating, right? Yeah, it is it's levitating. It's off the ground. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Should I put my leg under? Yeah, you can. There's no. There's no. I don't want to lose there. my legs. Okay. There's nothing hanging on the top. No, there isn't. As a matter of fact, I'll let you to. Uh, I'll ask you to let go of the cloth. Yeah. As a no, as a matter of no, don't let go no, of the cloth. No, 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 because no, no, no. it's going to fly away. <laughs> you hold on to it. I'm going to let go and see if anything happens. Okay. So watch it. So I'll let go here. Inside this box. Yeah. There's actually nothing but a little flower. Okay. And it's still levitating. <laughs> Seriously. Now let's bring it down. All right. Table go down. Soft Table landing. Table go down. Soft landing and. And let go, and voila! Wow. Levitating table. Wow! I'll make a hell of a furniture removalist. You re yes, he's here all week, folks. Try the wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow! That's the levitating candle. Thank you. Levitating table. Levitating that was table. levitating candle and 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 table. And one day maybe we will definitely. We're working on that. Definitely. Watch this space. This space. Yes, right. Can right. I give you a magical hug? Oh yes. Yes. Can we what, levitate what, the table? What's, away? what's a magical hug? Oh, it's just a general like oh, sleeve okay. action. Just all <laughs> Thank you very much for having Thank us. Thank you. No, it's absolute pleasure. That, it was truly magical. I just Thank you. have no other words. L is for Leisure the Main. Leisure the Main. If you have any magical, inspirational, uplifting stories that you want to share with us, here uh, with L on a little bit of lip. Oh, that was my heel, truly. It was my heel. <laughs> I just wanted to say, it was my heel. Um, we've exhausted the heel joke. Um, I would like to invite you to write to me at PO Box 713, Kensington 2033, Australia. And who knows, you too could come and experience a magical moment with Elle. See you next time. Wi-Fi kisses. <laughs> no, see, see, I do what I can. <laughs> <laughs> and what I uh, hello everyone and I'm getting again. Because you talked over me. I know, I, I know, I know. know. It's, it's not it's not right. Is it? It's not right. Yeah. You make something a lot We short uh <laughs> Levitate. Yeah, um I don't know if you said it's a PG show. How do you keep your innocence intact? Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no.